Hello and welcome. It's Jilly Cube. I'm here in Queensland, Australia, coming to you with the pour on this uh, gorgeous oval canvas. It is a oh, 14 by 20 inch or a 50. 0.8 by 35 centimetre and I've got a naughty little puppy that's pulling my <laughs> wires. Stop you naughty girl otherwise you go out. Okay I'll try and put a little video on of the puppy and her escapades. She's made friends or kind of a love-hate relationship with the magpie but anyway so I've got this lovely canvas. I've got my push pins in the bottom. I didn't tape the bottom because it was just too difficult to get the tape I'd have had to been cutting little bits everywhere but I really do like to tape the bottom of my canvases because when you've taped and you've finished your piece um, which I did months and months ago this then you can just take off the tape like so and it's kind of 90% clean. So it just is, I think it's a little bit nicer to sell a piece of art that hasn't got the paint really messy all over the back. I mean, I will get a bit, obviously I'm not that pedantic, but um, it is really nice to have a clean bottom when you, especially when you're selling it for good money. So, you know, and this one, I will put this up for sale and this goes in this nice little floating frame like so. So I was inspired by these colours because I love them so much to do something on this oval canvas but with another little spin of something different. So put that one aside. This is that um this was like the canvas from hell it just kept coming out wrong so I scraped it and I have got a video out of how I did this and this has got such beautiful lacing in the background that it actually looks like the crack crackle effect crack effect so I think I'm going to um resin that one and it will really make the red pop in it so that was another finished piece and then that lovely canvas I um bought the other day and oh, I haven't got that in there it goes that a little bit better my little puppy's decided to carry in her water bowl at uh, her bowl I think she's trying to tell me something so on with the gloves and this beautiful canvas so I think I will do it the composition this way so it can be hung like this so but to start with I'll just turn it that that away and I'm going to get on with this base which is my um yeah my global keep it simple pouring medium and I'm using my global impasto colors the link to these is down below in the drop down box also there's a video link on how to mix your pouring medium up before you add it to your colors and like I said with different brands of paint I haven't tested it with all different brands of paint but it was formulated to go with the global I know it still works with Amsterdam and it still works with Montmartre but um, I love it love it love it so that's what all of my colours are mixed with, even my base. So what I've done was white and I just added a bit of the dusky rose pink that I have there. So it's sort of very, very pale pink, but not too pink. I know lots of people say that, oh, I don't like pink, but hopefully when I've finished, you won't really be able to tell there's much pinky pink in it very pale anyway and I think I'll put too much on like I normally do there okay I'm gonna turn it this way because I want to do now this is my black paint mixed with flow troll only I'm gonna do that 
I want this to be my background so it's a nice lacy background just like I showed you on that other piece of art like um, so it looks like the the cracky finish like a so I'm going to use a oh, let's turn it this way I use a plastic file divider to do most of it I guess ah! that didn't work out as planned my file divider must be a little bit bent say no more Meg, you are very noisy. So I'll just push on with it this way. You'll Hopefully it will all make sense in the end. So there's going to be uh, quite a few techniques in this particular one piece. So that's just a bit of a background. Now I've got my little bag of um, beads here or, well, I've got a few chains as well. I've got some colours. So this is only going to be half of the... Um, process so I am going to do some chain pulls but I'm going to do so much more so let's get this show on the road I am going to dip my chains into each colour kind of show you I've got different colours here and I'm just letting the chain drop into the colours it's too difficult trying to keep it all in frame and show you so I'm Pushing the chain into the colours um, and then I'll lay them, take the chain out nice and slow. Rightio, let's give this a go, oh my goodness. Have a um, container of water handy so you can put your chains that have got paint on them into some clean water afterwards. So much easier. Rightio, let's give this fluoro one over here. Goodness, okie doke. So, this is <laughs> tricky, tricky. Right, I'm going to keep them in one spot. I'm going to just pull them all together. Just slowly. Yes, 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 straight into the water. Put your chains or your beads, whatever you've got, straight into water. Just keep them. Wow, wow, wow. That is lovely against that background. So, it's beautiful. If you're not very good at painting flowers, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Rightio. And the next bit. So, these lovely, nice colours again I'm gonna make a bit of a wiggles down here I've got my lovely um I love this colour it's one of my favourites I call it the berry delicious so it's made with the cool red and um cool red phalo blue and a blob of black if you want it to go kind of real dark cherry radio we'll add some of the um pale pink in there as well So making it more summer summer gardening. 
summer or gardeny is that a word is that a word probably not um we'll go some of the purple in there just wiggle it in so i always use too much but never mind this is the fluoro tangerine but i really prefer the fluoro orange is a lot more standout-ish Do a line of my flow trolley my paint so I can get some. I'm just going to use a straw, I think, for this. I just want to blow some up that way before I start doing something down here. So let's see how we go. Do some soft lines up. The cells in this, which I'll bring the camera down and show you, are gorgeous. So beautiful, beautiful. Now I've got to try and, I'm going to try and blow this down without kind of ruining the top bit. So I guess I might turn it that way. So I can blow it down this way. Wish me luck. I'll divide on seeing if, if I can swipe it down actually and cause those gorgeous DM like cells to pop up, which has definitely happened, which is wonderful. That's gorgeous. That is gorgeous. I will need to get rid of some of the weight in the paint, like it, it, so I can do that with a balloon. Rightio, now I'm going to use the balloon only on the bottom area just to create like a flower garden. So I'm going to add some balloon magic, hopefully. So just grab your balloon and the belly button through your, those two first and second finger, your thumb at the back, and you can press quite firm. Um, you can leave this to dry off for 20 minutes, maybe because there was so much paint on there. If you are having trouble with your balloon kisses falling in, but that's quite lovely. Look at that. Yes, I definitely should be transferring those balloon kisses onto another canvas. Look at them. Or you can transfer them onto a um, gift card. So make your own gift cards just out of your lovely balloon kisses off another um, piece of art. No, I'm not doing it today, so it's very a missed opportunity. But sometimes you just can't do it all. So that's a lovely flowery bit down there. I'll just probably go in. See, so that's still a bit quite wet. So you can either just push your balloon in again after you've wiped it because it soaks up some of the paint, or you just let it dry off a little bit. But that's gorgeous. Pushing your balloon in, yeah, it helps disperse some of the paint. That berry delicious is just beautiful. 
I'm actually not going to do any more in that because they really do look like the gorgeous gems in there. But I am going to come along just with my, it's another ordinary size balloon. It's just got a little bit of water in and it just adds for the weight. And you push it in the center of where you've already balloon kissed. And it does give you that really detailed petal effect in there. <laughs> like you've spent ages painting it in, but you haven't. The balloon is your artist help. No, I'm not going to do any more in that. Maybe, <laughs> gosh, you said, maybe just put one in the black there. Oh, look at that. Did you see that? When you just, well, even when you do your finger, your fingertip into that black and white lacing there, it creates a lovely little a lovely little bloom, a little, oh, look at that. I mean, I've done this. It's loads of times before, but that is creating really delicate effects in that. There's my signature then on my piece of canvas. Nobody can say it's somebody else's canvas because it has my fingerprint in it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, just doing those little finger popping in there. I'll bring the camera down again so you can see how delicate and gorgeous they look in that background colour. Like little snowdrops. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Oh, I could do this all day, I really could. I hope you can see that. I'm gonna bring you down to have a look, but that now is lovely. Um, it truly is a bit of magic that the balloon does help you create in that. Such a simple, Thing, a simple effect. Look at that. That's gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. It's definitely a really bright and beautiful summer garden. Okie doke, my lovelies. I'm going to bring you down for a minute and have a look at these little kisses in there. So there's little finger blooms. Look at that. Gorgeous. You could, you could do one whole painting in that where you do that plain background with the white like that and then add those little finger blooms in there, as I call them. So, look, I could do heaps more, I guess. Um, but it's already busy enough, isn't it? But look how delicate they come out. Don't, where it was white, look, they didn't so much. It does look like a bit of a snowy scene up there, but certainly could do more. But I think that's gorgeous. And then my flowers down here, the summer garden oval. Look at those colors with that fluoro orange in the purple. Stupendous. Look at those. Oh my goodness, so beautiful. I love the paints, I love the pouring medium. They just are a match made in heaven and I'm really, really happy about it. I hope that you guys love, love, love this one as much as I do. Um, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. If you are feeling at all sad, lonely or depressed, please, please, please ring a family member or a friend. Do not suffer in silence or a helpline if nobody else. So my lovelies, take care, bye for now.